Hey everybody, Mr. Deer here. It is Friday, April 23rd. I'm on my third take of this because somebody keeps making it difficult and is bashing me in the face with a certain book. But I want to talk to you today about uncertainty. Um, an experience I had back over 11 years ago when I was student teaching at Belvedere High School uh, with a man named Jack McCarthy at the time, who was a great teacher and uh, a, a great member of the Belvedere community. And what I'm... Okay, bye, buddy. What I remember from this morning is that on my way to work and driving down 20 from Cherry Valley, where I was living at the time, and the entire road was covered in fog. Every side, both left, right, north, south, every direction was foggy, so much so you could barely see a car length in front of you. And by the time I got to school, I made it there fine, but there was a couple times where I just I had no idea if there was a truck or a car, if the lights near the uh, the Chrysler plant were were... We're going to be red or green or yellow, so I was just taking it slow. And the uncertainty that comes from fog. And what an apt feeling that life feels like right now, where we have fog around us at all times about the future of our summers, of our next school year. You know, we, can, we can extrapolate every scenario and every concern that we have about what's going on in the world right now. My son is coming back. Oh, here we go, buddy. And we don't know what's going to happen. And we don't have the ignorance of a child in some cases where we don't have to worry about these things. But honestly, it is just unnerving. There he goes. To, to try to contemplate what the future is. It's like driving through a thick fog. So what I'm going to encourage you to do is to live a life where you don't worry about the things you can't control. Where you only focus on the things that you can control. What's in your power, what you can actually influence. You cannot control the future. You cannot control the decisions that the that the state makes or that our school board makes. You cannot make the decisions uh, or can make the choices for other people. You can only control what you can control. You can only control yourself. And when you try to extend beyond that, when you try to reach beyond what is in your measure of control, then you, you increase your anxiety, your stress, your conflict because you're trying to Manipulate things that aren't yours to manipulate. Live a life where you can be content controlling your world. Make that square footage that you have access to in your life, make it the best that you can. And and don't try to reach beyond that. So, as my son plays music to send us out here, remember, control what's within your ability to control. Be the master of your sphere. Don't try to control the things that are beyond you. Have a great weekend. Um, got a couple things going on in my life right now that I'm trying to control little fires and little problems and little things to do like grading and organizing and cleaning and cooking and all that. So I'm going to try to take my own advice as well because there are certainly days where I want to be in control of everything and uh, that's just probably not for the best. So know that you are missed. I know that I have appreciated seeing so many of you in live streams that I miss seeing you every day uh, in class. And for real, I say it and I mean it. If you need anything, do not hesitate to reach out. If you know you have a friend in need, don't hesitate to reach out. We're all in this together. So as always, go Bucks and have a great rest of your day. Take care.